Okay, guys, I'm coming to you today looking kind of wild because my hair is wet. Actually, it's starting to get dry now because I put on my makeup with it wet. <laughs> and um, I'm get, the reason I did that is because I've been asked to do a video about how I do my hair. So I'm going to do that next in part two. <laughs> this is part one, how to do the face. <laughs> okay, so this is my look for today. And uh, now I'm going to um, let you watch that. And then in another video, we'll take care of this mess that I'm calling hair. What I'm going to be using today is the Lancome um, Tint Miracle Foundation in the shade 230 Buff. In my haste to make this a shorter video, I also forgot to mention that in addition to my skincare, I've also prepped with the La Base uh, primer by Lancome, the Ulta Champagne Tinted Eye Primer, which is what you see glowing kind of like on my lids, and the uh, Soap and Glory Pillow Plump XXL on my mouth. I just got this all over my beauty blender and I'm going to begin like this. This is a oil-free 24-hour lasting foundation um, that touts itself as a medium to full coverage and claims to have a really natural looking finish. And I would agree with all of that except for the 24 hour. Uh, for me, this thing breaks down about the eight hour mark. Now, if I had known that it was a medium to full coverage foundation, I probably never would have tried it because I like sheer to medium. And, uh, but the foundation is absolutely gorgeous. And in my experience, uh, Lancome always does a foundation coverage that looks very skin-like. So my holy grail used to be the Tent Visionaire until they discontinued it and then I left them for YSL. <laughs> but on a scale of well, 1 to 5, I give this a 4.5 or 4.5. Now the foundation has started to sink into the wrinkles under my eyes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pat that. And then I'm going to take this by Terry Hydra Powder and I'm just getting a little bit on my fingertip. And it's going to start here right where that eye bag begins and work my way up underneath my eye. I've been using this technique ever since Kristen321 talked about it. It works great. Okay, today's eyeshadows that I'm going to use, as you can tell, I'm going to go for more purpley tones. Um, and I have depotted all of my Theory palettes from Viseart. But right here, these little ones, these are the petite. Okay, and we're going to use those today because they have purple tones in them that I can use. The amethyst did not fit in here, and quite frankly, I wanted it separate. But it's currently sold out and nobody can get it, so we're going to go for the petite one instead. By the way, these are in order. Just come into this white shade here and go right over the top of this primer, which by the way has a champagne-y kind of cast to it. So this should be interesting. Uh, possibly it's meant to be something that you can use, you know, as an eyeshadow. Maybe you just want to go for a quick crease and call it a day. So I'm anxious to see how this is going to change the way these shadows go on. It feels very dry. I brought this clip from another camera in so that you could see how lizard-like texture dry this primer makes my eyelids and really messes up my shadows all right i think that if i were going to use this primer again i would use it on a day that i just wanted to maybe throw something in the crease and go um, i don't like the way it's changing the shadow this may be something that you may not even realize was the primer but I think it may be a really good primer if you just want to like put it on, throw something in your crease, and run out the door. You've got a lid and a, and a highlight up on your brow. I'm going to come straight into the crease. It's right here that I start to notice as I'm bringing this crease color in, which is a brown, that I've used several times, that something's really wrong 
where this primer is concerned. VisiArt shadows really don't need a primer. You can just go in and BAM! But we're having trouble here. And it goes on and on and on. And as you can see, that texture on my eyes looks like a dragon skin. So I increasingly become more and more aggravated when I can't get VisiArt shadows to build up. Perhaps I use too much. I don't know. All I know is I don't like this. I don't understand what happened with this. <laughs> I'm beginning to think that I maybe used too much, but I really hate the way it behaved underneath these shadows and how when I get done, I will zoom in really tight and let you see how it changes the texture. And on the outside of my eyelid, right there i'm just going to kind of twirl that dot you've seen me do before in case you want to know i went on another three minutes and 20 seconds blending that brown in my crease right here on the edge so it gets dark right there and this is the darkest purple from the petite palette a domed eye brush looks or does well for that And here I go again, as you've seen me do many times with that little elf brush in my get ready with me's on the drugstore stuff. Just taking it and twisting it right there on the outside of my eye to create a dot that can be blended. All right, this is just a little elf small precision brush. And I love that when I want to work on my lid and just a small portion of it. So I'm coming into that purple that's in your far uh, lower right of the palette and I'm going to apply it all over my lid and because this brush is so tiny it will allow me to stay right where I want which is right on top of this lid and no farther I don't like this primer. Not with these shadows anyway. That is really, it's making, it's making these shadows drag and not show up. I would have been better off having nothing on. I'm gonna use the Mally eyeliner in, I don't know, I'll have it below. Ah! Hashtag world's greatest driver. Yeah. NYX uh, Micro Brow because I, I just dyed my hair and this matches it better right after I first dyed it and yeah what I like to do is just take along the top of my brow draw the way my brow line goes I have no tail so I make my own then I come through my brows darkening up my own hair that I have there. <gasps> Hashtag world's greatest primer. Then after that, I come to the front of my brow and I start, there's sparse hairs here and I can see them. So I'm just gonna add two. Flick, flick, flick with this little pencil. Trying to stay in the line where it is. <laughs> I will have to correct because I stink at this. You guys, I really don't like what this primer has done to my shadows. I'm not a big fan of this. As you can see, this has made my Viseart eyeshadows look like crap. <laughs> they accentuate every wrinkle I have. We've already got a crease in the middle here, and I've not even finished my makeup. They're splotchy, round champagne things, little champagne eggs all over my upper lid. This stuff should never be used as a primer, in my opinion. It is good as a lid color, possibly a highlight on the brow bone, but I would never put this in my crease or under shadows again. 
I can see that in a 10 magnification mirror and I don't like it. So there's one brow. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Enough of this negativity. Everyone knows you don't like the primer. Let's get on to something happy, shall we? Let's announce our winner of the makeup mirror. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Gina. Thank you, Lord. And now for our winner. And the crowd roars. Congratulations, my glitzy sister. Get a hold of me through my email, glitzyfritzy at gmail.com. So the next thing I'm going to use then today is my Cheekathon, okay, from Benefit. And if you've not seen this, it's it's okay if you don't have this, okay, because you can buy all of these things. They're in their permanent line, and you can buy them all individually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Hula with a Morphe E4 angled brush, and I'm going to dip in there and just lightly dust right here, I'm dusting that up. Surprised no one's ever pointed that out to me <laughs> that I don't need to contour my face. <laughs> my cheekbones are high and well defined. I am going to do my chin because right under here is a waddle that I want to take a little focus off of if I can. Creating a little shadow there will help. So you can make a little fish face. Mm -hmm. And that will create those hollows if you can't see them to contour your face. And for the most part, you're making a three. You're doing this. See? I'm going to take my blush brush, which happens to this time be an it cosmetics one and I'm going to come into Rockateur just swirl around in there it's a benefit classic and right on top of where I just went I'm gonna lay that brush up 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 we want to bring our cheeks high we want to bring everything up at our age Rockateur is such a subtle, beautiful blush. So light and just a flush. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say they don't like Rockateur. Then I'm just gonna dip into Dandelion and bring it right above the very top of Rockateur. And Dandelion is, um, you know that L'Oreal blush that I like so well, Baby Blossoms in the True Match section. Okay, well, they're dupes <laughs> so yeah there is a reason why i like that because i like benefits dandelion i'm talking about this shade right here <laughs> that that and l'oreal true match um baby blossoms are dupes for each other okay so for my mouth today i'm going to be using these lip syncs by maestro now i will have a video that is all about these but we're not going to go into it right here i do like them it's the liquid lipstick that is not acting like a liquid lipstick. <laughs> it does and it doesn't. <laughs> ah! And then I'm just going to plop these two together on my mouth. You know when I grabbed the wrong ones? That's okay. That's all right. Now, I like doing this mixing on with a brush. I realize this probably seems crazy what I'm going to do with these, but they are called lip syncs for a reason. I actually thought I was grabbing this one, so I am going to run a little bit of this on the top. I do actually like the, the look of the three of them together. As I said before, these are going to have another video, hopefully next week, about these and a few other products that I got from Maestro. While they're drying down, 
let's go ahead and move on to the finish the eyes with Lancome Sills Booster. Just one little coat on the top. And Maestro Mascara, I'm going to use that on my bottom and then I'll get my top. I've been using this tube for a pretty long time. It's still not dried up and it still is looking pretty good. And I realize that watching me put on mascara is like watching someone paint a barn. Boring! But um, I just want you just to know what I'm using. I actually take a lot of this out for you, so know that. When was the last time you were able to take a liquid lipstick and do this? That is a buxom white Russian. And it is not all over the doe foot now. And I will be able to get by with this. My gosh. All right, then. I'd like to thank you guys for being the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do. There's a subscribe button down below. Also, there's this gray bell. Looks like that. If you ring my bell ring my bell then you'll be notified every single time that i make a video that's right as soon as it hits your email box you'll know that mary has a video live and then you can go and watch it and i would really like that if you guys aren't having a blessed day please go out and be a blessing to somebody else and until next time love you see ya bye and i'm out so <laughs> i hate it when you drop things on the floor <laughs> You know what this is? This is McDonald's coffee. You can buy this at the store now. Did you guys know? Do you guys like McDonald's songs? Do you remember this? McDonald's is your kind of place. They serve you rattlesnakes. French fries between your toes. Hamburgers up your nose. Last time that I was there, they served my underwear. McDonald's is your kind of place. But I bet McDonald's like that, right? <laughs> Seriously, what about this one? To all beef, patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, onions, sesame seed, bun. Who remembers that? All right, I'm gonna wipe off my lip plumper. Look how fat my lips are now. <laughs> long, beautiful hair. No, my hair is not long and beautiful anymore. It is short and sassy. Yeah, short and sassy hair that doesn't go. Uh, all right then. <laughs>